When I go over it in a cloth, I'll have to, I can't be bothered with a masking tape, which takes forever. A good thing to take off paint, um, no, I'm not going to say white spirit, is vinegar. Now, white, white vinegar is really good. Even if your paint is like two decades or three decades old, it's stuck on the plug, um, white vinegar will take it off. I just want to show you basically something that I have picked up in an organic shop in Europe. And this is it, and this is thyme, basil, coriander. You can pop it in this bag which comes in this slot here and yes you just put 400 mils of water with two packets of seeds that come with it and it expands you must be thinking how does that fit in here it does anyway so you can see one of the coriander seeds there and there so can you see the seeds there yes so basically all i'm gonna do i don't need to label them because i know obviously what these will look like when they pop up regards to basil looking different to coriander and we do grow coriander in the garden anyway um, let's go and show you as you can see there so yes that's the coriander um, and just to look here this right here this stick here is a fig tree it has grown lots of roots underneath and in the spring summer of 2016 it was had it had leaves all over it it was massive obviously the winter comes and the leaf falls and ends up like that but you'll start to see that this will form um lots of leaving let's go back and show you the cupboard that i've just built the greenhouse cupboard it's more like a cupboard than a greenhouse and yeah look at the paint job I've done so all I need to do really is just clean it around with a wet wipe or something like that um, and I've taken the sides off so that I wouldn't get paint on the sides oh, this is a first coating so I'm gonna do a second coating so I bought these tray seed things whatever you want to call it um from like pound land or pound world and it's only a pound obviously and i think it's like yeah five a five pack so i'm gonna put the fig trees in there oh my dad's filled it up without telling me i didn't know that's funny because these were empty yesterday and he's already done them without telling me so okay so he's filled this with chili peppers and that's with basil <laughs> he didn't tell me okay anyway so let's pop these inside oh gosh 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 i mean it's difficult with one hand but right now i'm not gonna be like neat all neat and everything because um I still haven't yet to paint another second load and when I've painted when I've painted a, uh, another coat and then I kind of organize it better inside so right now I just want to chuck this in and where did I get these from like I mentioned I got them from abroad it was in an organic shop that just sell purely organic everything and I haven't seen it in the UK let me go back to the packaging Okay, it says here, bag to natural, um, there you go, whatever that means. If I go back on the back pack, the back third, just looking if there's a website, okay, yes, we have, c4food.com, okay, so I'm interested in buying more, eco-friendly, Today is the 14th of March 2017, so let's see how many days it takes to grow. Um, I would recommend this, definitely, because like I said, I've used this before. So yeah. Go to um, c4food.com and I'm not getting any promos for anything or um, I'm not getting any money for this. I'm just 
basically sharing what I would like other people to share with me and that is info and knowledge and about growing better food for your health so that's it so that's it for now um, during the summer I'm going to stick some um, citronella um, sticks in here so the insects won't be going in there making it their home um, for right now I think it's fine and what I could do here in this gap is put that fluffy thing that you use around like the the front door kind of thing if you know what I mean I don't know how to explain it what it's called but yeah so far so good Yeah, it needs another coat, but yeah, it's not finished. When it's sorted and lovely and done, and I'll show you. Okay, that's a wrap. There's another, another thing I want to mention, and I got, we got this from the Pound World, not Pound Land, but Pound World. And this is like the same kind of bagging that I've got here um, for the coriander thyme and basil. And this, I guess you put your own seeds in, it's got no seeds with it. So basically, um, it's the same kind of bagging system. Yeah, it's got the soil there, and you pop your seeds in it, and you water, and you grow whatever you want in it. And yes, you can see 10 litres. It's massive. And it says 100% natural and pet free. Peat free, or whatever you want to, I don't know. Anyway, um, it says here that it's 100% pre-flushed, washed coconut core fibre. So that's that's cool. Um, and you can grow in it tomatoes, um, potatoes, onions, strawberries. You can use it with a hanging basket. Um, you can use it in a patio, rose, uh -huh. um, a fruit tree, even. That's a lot. Uh -huh. Be quiet, mister. Let's do it. Okay, so yeah, but, no, I'm not going to paint it today. Why? No, because it's cold, and, and we're gonna we're gonna finish off painting another time. Okay, so basically, this you can get from Pound, 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 Pound World, and yeah, that's another good info for you guys. And that I believe they do sell this stuff, although I don't, I didn't get it. I just stick to water. Cocoa what? Cocoa Bloom. Oh, I just stick to water rather than using anything, and I actually use um, filtered water for planting. So, I mean, you don't have to do that, but yeah, I stick. I like to use the filter water just to get all the um, the chemicals out from the water system because they do put lots of rubbish like chlorine and and it's got lots of calc in there, which is calcium and stuff like that. So, 